Hello, welcome to this section of Mastering Statistics. Here we're going to continue talking about some important definitions uh, in statistics and giving you some concrete problems. We're going to work a couple of quick problems to kind of give you a little practice with identifying it. Um, I, I can't stress enough, these definitions, you'll usually be tested on them, uh, but you'll definitely have to know them so that as you're doing your problems in the future, you know, you'll understand the definitions, you won't get caught up in that. So the first thing I want to point out is drawing a picture of something that I've kind of talked about already. We talked about the idea of a population and we've talked about the idea of a sample. So to summarize that, we can say that a sample, and we've talked about this already, is a subset of the population that you care about. And we've given uh, lots of examples of populations. So as a picture, I think a picture is always worth a thousand words, right? So let's draw this guy here, right? This is my population. This could be all chipmunks that live in Texas. That could be my population. It could be all butterflies in the world. It could be all people over 50 years old in North America or something like that. But it's impossible to actually, you know, interact with everybody in the population. So we look at a sample, which is a subset of the population. And by subset, we mean a smaller part of the population. So this would be my sample. I want you to keep this kind of image in your head because as we go down the road, um, your problems, your, your, your concepts, when we do calculations, sometimes when we're talking about the population versus the sample, the calculations will be a little different. Um, but certainly when we're reading the more complicated concepts coming down, it'll ta be talking about the samples or the population parameters or things. And if you have them backwards, you're just going to get confused. So keep this image in your head. The population is the larger grouping and the sample is the smaller subset. So I think a picture is very good to keep in your mind there. All right. There are, in general, two branches of statistics. So I'll write that down. Branches or types of statistical study. So we'll just say branches of statistics in general, right? And these are definitions that, you know, to be totally truthful with you, you're probably not going to use them too much after learning them. I mean, they'll be useful to know what they are. You'll be tested on them. But it's not like you're going to do a bunch of problems with these definitions. I'm just trying to teach them to you so that you'll understand. If you read it in your book, you'll know what it is. The first one is descriptive statistics. And descriptive statistics is exactly what it sounds like. It describes something. So that's when you gather, sort, summarize uh, data from samples. So that's when you're describing something, right? You gather a data, you know, from a sample, you sort it, maybe you put it in ascending order or something like that. You summarize it, maybe there's a chart or something like a graph that you put together or, or a table or something like that and you're describing something from that data. You're not trying to really draw too many conclusions, you're just presenting it. Maybe you're making a nice chart, a nice graph that totally, you know, everybody, all of us have seen a bar chart, right, or a pie chart. Well, those are kind of like descriptive statistics, right? You're describing, you're not really drawing conclusions, you're just drawing a pie chart showing us the percentage of people that like chocolate versus peanut butter, right? You're not really